Aika has no vision. Uh, really? <laughs> Does she not now? <laughs> well, now she's got a pyro one. That's um, that's uh, that's quite the opposite of what you, what I'm really willing, what I'm used to you having, Aika. Okay, uh, Aika. Okay, all right, girl. Good people, it's another fine day in the year of the Xena Toon Link. Dave, Anomaly the Noble Cars, few know me as the man who's ready to delve into the multiverses, but most know me as the United States Aviator. Welcome back to the second preseason episode of the Don Gone Rampa Hunger Games. You know what this is all about. Top two players go on to season 11 premiere, and this is one of those episodes where it's likely that we're going to get a, um... Hunger Games competitor who's not from Don Rapa in these games. That's what happens in preseason. We see a little bit of craziness. We've even seen one non Don Rapa character walk into a season and win that title. It was so. Can it happen to someone else today? I don't know. But we dip into a lot of like a lot of multiverses today. I picked all of our champs, and then I selected just RNG to go through. And I liked what RNG selected for me as well because I don't know if we've really like really gone into the. Um, the voy the, the VA is for a lot of the anime, and we got a lot of the anime through RNG today. So I'm excited for this. So, more importantly, let's introduce everyone who's here. We have a character from Don Rapa, and then two characters who their voice actor or voice actress also voices. And we there's a lot of people. There's just a lot of people from a lot of series, and I'm excited for it. And I'm gonna tell you who we got here first on Team Kizakura. We got Kizakura himself. Love to see Kizakura with Kasuga from the Yakuza series. Cause I don't recognize that guy. I still need to, I need to hop back into that, but you know, I need to calm down from my darts addiction. Um, which is not an addiction, it's a spoiler. And we also actually see Owen, which I didn't realize, but you guys have probably told me in the past, but I was like, oh yeah, that's my guy. Owen is here with Kizakura. Ladies and gentlemen, we must go on. Team Izioi RNG gave us Izioi, and Izioi shares a voice with Sir Night Eye. Sir Night Eye from My Hero Academia and Yutara from Demon Slayer. That's correct, from Demon Slayer. I'm going off of like semi memory from this one. I wanted to see how well I could do it. I'll pull up my list in a second if I need it. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to need it shortly. Munakata, we see Munakata with Kuriel and Binimaru. Binimaru from. I think it's called. And I laughed at the title, because I knew it existed, but I was like, I don't- man, this is interesting! Binimaru from, uh, I was reincarnated as a slime, or something of that nature, and I'm like, huh. Well, I'll be. Looks interesting, though. Team Ibuki, we see Ibuki, of course, RNG gave us Ibuki. RNG also gave us Tinko, which is interesting, because they share a voice, so I was like, oh, let's just pick two more! Um, Ibuki, Mad Moxie from Borderlands, and, huh, is next. You watch her whoop, you watch her nay. And then we see Team Tinko. You'll see a familiar face from a series that we've played, Cordelia sharing a voice with Tinko. And then we also see Holly from JoJo. Who would've thunk? Who would've thunk? What a, that's all, it's actually a really pleasant, or kind of pleasant team. Tinko, Tinko can be out of pocket sometimes, to be completely honest. But we also have Team Kyoko, and Team Kyoko could consist of a lot of people who we've already seen. Like, on from Persona 5, like, Venti, like, there's just, uh, Kyoko's voice actress, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Well, I was like, let's take some, some lesser known ones and see if anyone's like, hey, I know that person. We're talking, uh, Irena from, I believe, uh, Love Live, or Live, something of that nature. Something of that nature. And then Juna Crawford from, ooh. Ah, oh, let me not pull it up, let me not pull it up. How well can I do, how well can I do? Cold Trail? Uh, Legends of Cold Trail or Legends of... And something of that nature. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, I'm so close and I know I'm so close. Ah, uh, I don't want to look, I don't want to look, I don't want to look. It's Legends of Heroes. Legends of Heroes, the Cold Trail 3, maybe? I'll confirm at the end. I'm gonna try and get through this without looking at my notes at all, but I'm gonna keep on keeping on. We see the Great Gozu, and let me tell you, when I saw the Great Gozu, when I saw <laughs> Mr. Zane, <laughs> that's my guy from Dragon Ball. I love that guy. 
everything is great! Um, <clears throat> also Arlong from... One Piece, I'm pretty sure. Chisa! Team Chisa was up next, and Team Chisa, there's a lot of, there's a lot of One Piece love in this episode, so if you, and love, well, One Piece is long, I've watched some One Piece, but let me tell you, that's a, that's long, there's so many episodes, I could, I could never, I'd never have the time, Chisa, <laughs> one day I'll retire and I'll watch all of One Piece, <laughs> with Luffy, and, 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 Mia Faye. Not from the games, clearly, because back in those days there was not a, uh... Actually, she probably did have an objection line. She did have an objection line. Um, but this is Mia Faye from the Ace Attorney anime. Which I have also watched a little bit, and I was like, Of course I love Ace Attorney, I'm gonna watch a little bit of this. <laughs> it's a pretty good, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty nice, uh... Pretty nice anime based on the games. We will continue on to Team Fuihiko. This is where we start to dwell into our champions. We see Tag Team Champion Fuihiko with Clotted Cream Cookie. And then Oscar from Ruby? Oscar Pine? Oscar Pine, I believe. Oscar Pine. And then we go. Team Maki. We see some familiar characters. All familiar from the channel, although I don't think I've played Genshin on the channel since uh, Ayaka has been out. Have I? I don't think so. But Maki's here with her. And then we also see a throwback to Miss Bernadetta from Three Houses. However, we'll see Bernadetta again when... Three Hopes comes out on the same day as the Somnium Files. Gosh, that's gonna be so busy. Oh my goodness gracious, but I'm looking forward to it because those will both be fantastic games. Team Teru Teru, the champion of champions. We see Daichi, and we see Yoon. Yoon from Street Fighter, which is the one that surprised me on this one. Love to see that. Love to see Yoon. I actually really like Yoon, and we will lastly, but not leastly, also very surprising to me, Team Sato. I was like, let's just check on Sato. I was like, I don't know if we'll find anything interesting for Sato. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Another one from One Piece. Nami from One Piece. And then we have the one and only, Yusio We're talking Uraraka. She's here as well. And that is the ensemble of Across the Multiverse today. A lot of One Piece cross, uh, there's like, if, if, if there's a One Piece fan out there, they're probably like, dang, look at all this One Piece. There, there's like four characters from One Piece that end up in here. But there's a lot of, we, we dipped our toes into a lot of different uh, multiverses. I need to, mm, mm, I need more Phoenix right on this channel. I really do, I need more Ace Attorney. I love Ace Attorney, y'all don't even know. <laughs> Make your picks first, second, and third. Which group do you think is the most interesting? Which group catches your fancy the most? I'll answer those questions too. As you make them in the comments. Because your comments are important like this one. That one. And even that one right there. In terms of... Which one strikes my fancy the most? Team Gozu. <laughs> I'll be frank, I love Team Gozu. I really do. I do love Team Sato a lot as well, but Team Gozu, oh, I do love Team Maki. I like a lot of these teams. I do like a lot of these teams. I very, 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 very casually have played, um... Cookie Run. Cookie Run Kingdom? Cookie Run Kingdom. Um... I don't think I have that guy. I don't remember. But... I think I would... I. I'm, just, I'm gonna lock in Team Gozu. They would be my favorite. And you know what? They're my picks. All three of them. Gozu for first, Mr. Satan for second, and then Arlong for third. That's what I got. Hopefully, you all have made your picks because it is time to get the show on the road. We have a lot of different folks here, and we have what could potentially be the grandest game of this preseason. I know a lot of you look forward to these games that have so many characters crossing over from all sorts of places. You're like, whoa, didn't think we'd see them. Didn't think we'd, this person was ever stepped foot with these Donald Rampa characters, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find out just how this thing ends. Who will go on to that <sighs> incredible, in fact, there is one more thing that I want to do. Let me switch this one, make this, uh, uh, yeah, make him a, make him a thief. Yeah, 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 there you go, there you go, <laughs> there you go, my guy. <laughs> oh, loof. All right, I think it's time to start this one. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. It's gonna bring that energy as we proceed. Shall we? I believe we shall. We have a pretty decent sized episode, and we already see people are. Gosh, Sato! Gosh, my picks! 
And gosh, the horns, they are astounding. Uh, uh, excuse me, horn bearers, if you could please do what you do best. Uh, if you're new around here, you might not know that we need to sound the horns. Thank you. Thank you, horn bearers. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would, I would do, I do indeed love to hear the horns. They do sound all those times. But Daichi tries to build a tank out of six and rocks. It's useless, but it looks cool. Kirio thinks about what he did to end up here. Sato eats something she shouldn't have and dies of horrible stomach pains. You're lucky. You're lucky. Sato, you're lucky in a sense because honestly, you could, brought, you could get brought back. And more importantly, if somehow you find your way into the championship match and win, you're not a character we consider, uh, considered often, but you are really close to being a triple crown champion. You only need the main title. You only need the main title. Sato, I'm hoping for you, actually. I'm hoping you're the next one. Uh, Binimaru feels strong enough to handle anything. Izui attacks and kills Arlong in front of Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan rushes to help but dies in his arm and he says there with a blank stare, my guy. <laughs> you're the, <laughs> you're the champion of the world, my guy. <laughs> You're the protector! <laughs> Save us, my guy! Juna is ready to defend her friends. Oh, my man, Luffy sets down a trap, and Tinko's smart enough to disarm that trap. That man's, mm. She was like, I'm not getting trapped by some degenerate male. Chisa is looking out only for herself. Munakata and Kirill get into an argument over who should be in charge. Yoon finds some leather scraps, enough to put together some rudimentary clothing. It looks rather caveman like. Terry Terry walks into a very strange machine, and somehow his molecules got all rearranged. She's got ghost powers? Who would have thunk? Ibuki wants to protect Nay. Something inside of Mad Moxie snaps and Mad Moxie is now frenzied. She's mired. Kyoko challenges the Great Gozu to a duel. It is the Great Gozu. That might not have been the best challenge. Uh, Kasuga picks up some uh, Nin Kulang in various places. Ayaka. This is being adorable as always. Nay and Ibuki are just vibing today because their fingers touched backs and it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Gutaro. Uh, tries to summon demon circle, <laughs> demon summoning circle on the ground, huh? Dude? Okay, all right. <laughs> You're summoning demons, all right? <laughs> okay. Uh, if we go and clotted cream cookie conspire against Oscar, uh, Irena, thanks Juna for being there for. Her. Owen looks like he's on the verge of snapping his sword hand. His sword hand. <laughs> Holly, um, finds a belt of pokeballs. Who knows what can, uh, who what could be inside of those? Nami. Somehow finds a suit of mutual armor, puts it on, and gleams with a dazzling shine. Mia is cooking with Gina's idea. Kizakura has had enough, and he's enraged. The clotted cream cookie finds us all below his concern. Bernadetta tries to kill Nami, but Nami's knight armor diverts to blow. Oscar picks up looks neat and cool in various places. This is only three people gone, surprisingly enough. As Uraka's glad she can rely on Nami, Sir Night Eye tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake, and Maki just wants us to be over already. We lost. Maki, you still actually need to get into that premiere. You do need it, but the ones who need it even more are the people who got this Thirty Loon for. Sato, Arlo, Kyoko. Actually, let's be frank. Kyoko didn't need it. She got second. She might get first. She might win the title. But it's still a short road until we get this season 11 premiere. We only lost three people of 36, one twelfth of the competition, but we must go on. We must proceed. This was a, honestly, pretty calm day. Pretty calm day. Everyone's kind of just vibing right now. We got a couple of items in here that could really turn the tides on this game, but we'll see if those come into play. Uh, okay. Uh, this also might come into play. We, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> Minimaru finds a seemingly official decree from a powerful Archon. Will he dare to hang it up? We'll see. The Great Gozu sobs quietly. Mr. Satan snaps out of it. Chisa challenges Kizakura and Tenko to an anything goes pancake eating competition. Tenko murders the both of them. Former tag team partners, those two. And Tenko's like, well, you're dead now. <laughs> you were former living people. <laughs> And she is now going on to that World Pancake Championship match. Tenko, you're actually already in this. I don't know why I wrote your name down again. Good on you. You're just like, you're like, you know what? I'm doubling down. She wants those pancakes. Oh, Luffy. Attempts to kill Kirio, but Binimaro intervenes just in the nick of time. Had to kill Luffy to protect Kirio's life. Tenko, 
tries to kill Munakata, tries to finish the job. <laughs> Fana tries to finish the job by taking out all the anime people and... She, and Munakata's like, no, not today. Fuika won't give up so easily. Maki mopes around uselessly. Ayaka finds a bowling ball. Hopefully she gets a strike. We haven't seen the bowling ball pop up in a hot second, but it's always been in there. Ooh. Urena can no longer stay still and let others kill their friends. Urena's feeling heroic. Cordelia sizes her muscles. Uraraka finds a grenade. Better be careful with that. Don't go all zero gravity on us. Abuki wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. Izzy, a picture looks neat and cool lying in various places. Juna wants it to be helpful. A certain night, I wonders about the future. Kyotaro checks on his demon summoning circle. To his surprise, a demon comes out. And it lives. Okay. Decides that <laughs> he wants to help Kyotaro out. Okay. Terry Terry shoots blast of energy from his hands at Holly, but Holly is unable to survive the blow. Yoon and uh, gives Daichi various things that he's found. Oh. Daichi builds stuff out of it. It's soothing to watch Daichi make neat contraptions from those scraps. Mia wonders if she should build a machine that makes Yaki Niku Arlong. His lifeless body festers peacefully. Kasuga. Tries to kill Nami, but Nami's night armor is still diverting the blow. Mad Moxie looks for her next victim. Kirill is proud to lead Team Munakata. Oh yes, Team Munakata. Except Munakata tries to kill Izzyoid, but Sir Night Eye intervenes to protect him. Unfortunately, Sir Night Eye dies in the attempt to rest in peace. The clouded cream cookie is sick and tired of all of the animals causing havoc in my arena picks up a hat and a net and joins AB's animal control baby i hope i do have you <laughs> nay does something really cute bernadetta looks for stuff to scrounge oh wayne remembers how much he misses kizakura nami feels strong enough to have anything daichi asks you if he's found anything useful Probably. He gave you some useful things, didn't he? And Oscar picks up, his, uh, picks up uh, whatever looks neat and cool lying in various places. We lost quite a few more, another seven. We're almost down to a standard size game. And the biggest threat here is this seemingly official decree from a powerful Archon. If that comes into play, this 26 could get dwindled very fast, very quickly. As we declared a Loon 4. Chisa, Kizakura, Luffy, Tinka, Ibuki, Holly, Sir Naitai. Let's see whose teams are doing alright, because we lost a couple of Danganronpa characters today. Team Gozu, my team! My team, we still got two. Team Murakata's still completely in though. Team Sato has lost their Danganronpa character, they still have Nami and uh, Uraraka. <laughs> Team Kizakura still has Kasuga and Owain. Team Teru Teru is still rocking on. They got the champ on their side and he's going to lead them to victory. Team Tinko only has Cordelia, but Cordelia is the one who could do it. She could make it. She could do work. Team Fuika completely in. Team Kyoko still has Irena and Juna lost their Dongrampa representative. Mia is the only one remaining from Team Chisa. Maki's team is still going completely strong. Izayoi's team still has Gutaro. And Team Ibuki still has Mad Moxie and Ney. That's the list so far. We still have 26 left, and... That official decree. We know, what it, we know what it can do to these games. We know good and well. I don't know why I clicked the music off, because I need to click next round. There's a lot of orange. There's a whole lot of orange. Kasuga walks into a very strange machine designed to view a world unseen his molecules got all rearranged has ghost powers maki finds a shotgun goodness gracious nami's ready to cleave some invaders in her knight's armor mia has been hot on terry terry's trails for days now terry terry thinks that he's gotten away but the champion is taken out by mia as she's deduced his location and delivered the final blow izioi tries to kill owen but his sword hand has been twitching takes out izioi owen can't wait to kill again Kirill attacks the Great Gozu from behind, eviscerates him. Goodness gracious, it has been a bad start to the day for Danganronpa characters. The Archon see Great Pencil and Juna, and she gets an Electrovision. Yoon starts sobbing uncontrollably. Cordelia has a horrible feeling in her gut. Mr. Satan looks for... I was looking for an easy out, rather. And there it is. This is when things get a little intense, huh? Because Bini Maru hangs up a notice from the almighty Shogun herself. The Vision Hunt Decree has commenced nay. Has no vision, but the violence stirs something deep within her nays when granted a pyro vision by the Archons joins the fight. Clotted, Cream, Cookie, and Curio decide not to take sides. They're like, mm, this isn't going to last for more than a day. Bernie's got no vision. She picks up a samurai sword in the name of the Shogun's desires. Uraka has no vision, but she's been granted a cryo one. It's not just, it's not just like, she can't just float around now. She's now got ice powers to her name. Uh, Gutaro and 
Mr. Satan decides not to take sides, Fuyiko has devoted his life to the Shogun's desires. He's got a samurai sword. A Geo Vision is now in Oscar's hand. Arena and Yoon decide not to take sides. They're like, mm, this isn't gonna last too long. Mad Moxie frantically thinks about which join, which side to join. Both sides. She's like, this one. I can get a sword. Oh, I can get who the power of the elements. Seems like she just wants violence. Aika has no vision. Uh, really? <laughs> Does she not now? <laughs> Well, now she's got a pyro one. That's um, that's uh, that's quite the opposite of what you, what I'm really, really, what I'm used to you having, Aiga. Okay, uh, Yaka. Okay, all right, girl. <laughs> Daichi has no vision, but he's got a hydro one now, and Munakata picks up a sword, which is pretty in character for that man. We are down now to just 23 with all of these swords, with all of these visions in place. Things are about to dwindle real fast as we hit the Clarity Loon Four. Teru Teru, Isioi. The Great Gozu. 23 remain. We are now within the size of a standard size game. But I don't know who's going to win. But I will say, um... I think I'm only down to one person in my original picks. Is that is that true? I, I do believe that is true. And I don't, uh... I don't like to talk about that. We're, we're going we're gonna to brush past that because... Things are about to go down and there's still actually a couple other people who still need to be a part of this arena event. So let's go and see what they get. As we click next round, we see Juna having no vision, but she's got an animal one now, but and then there's my, okay, that's all of my picks gone. whoop de doo <laughs> Oscar summons a shield, protecting him from Mr. Satan's attack. Oscar then causes the ground beneath him to cave in, burying him alive. Maki and Mia decide not to take sides. They're like, this isn't going to last for too long. Anyway, Cordelia has no vision, but something stirs deep within her. A cryo vision is now bestowed upon her. Bernie finds a bow and some arrows. Bernie's about to be sharpshooting out here. I know that's right, Bernie. Good on you. Clotted cream, uh, clotted cream cookie. Practices swinging his net. Fuiko corners uh, Gutaro, but Gutaro's demon mauls him before he can react. What a good demon. Yun, wearing leather scraps as I to behold. Munakata puts up wanted posters. Uraraka summons a massive spear of ice, impaling Cordelia. Uh, Mia can't help but admire her own genius mind. Mad Moxie looking around maniacally, seething. Nay, and Juna unleash the power of their visions at the same time. Uraraka unfortunately gets caught in between Pyro and Electro and is overloaded with energy, causing her to explode. Yeah, to see that Nami has no vision, but now she's got a Geo one. I don't know if that's oh, that could be useful, I guess, for her, but not uh, usually. Bini Mario has no vision, stirs up something deep in him. He's got Pyro on his side, and Kasuga is like, I'm done with these elements, picks up a sword, and he's ready to kick butt like only a Yakuza can. Kirio and Murakata get into an argument over who should be in charge. Ayaka shines her bowling ball. She's like, I might have this this pyro vision, but let me tell you, I'm out here to get strikes, baby. <laughs> oh, wait, and has no vision. But the violence stirs something deep inside him. Not a sword for some reason. Instead, his cryo hand is twitching. Daichi is chased off by Clotted Cream Cookie, using the power of vision to wet the surface behind him, causing Clotted Cream Cookie to slip and break his neck. And Crumble and Arena's vig uh, vigilantly uh, patrolling. She's like, I'm ready to defend those that I love. We got another five gone. We are down to 18. In fact, we are now halfway through the competition. Who will come in on top? Who will win this one? Man, I don't know at all, but I do know one thing. It's time for a clear. Day Loon 4. Mr. Satan. Fuiko. Koadelia. Uraraka. Clotted Cream Cookie. 18 gone, 18 left, 8 more into your saving grace picks, and we got two people who are going to go on to that singles premiere. Who are they going to be? I'm not sure. You know there's only one way to find out who they're going to be. Do you need some new picks? I know I do. If you made the same picks as me, uh-oh, yikes, uh-oh, whoopsie doodles. Uh, let's continue though. 18 more, 8 more into your saving grace picks, and now... Pretty much everyone has either a vision, a sword, or they're just vibing out. Let's see how that unfolds now. As everyone is ready. Hoo boy! Well, that's bad. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to be left after this. To protect Juna, uh, Arena jumps Mia and defeats her. Oh, look at that. The hero perk is actually coming in handy. Nami. Summon stones around Munakata's feet. Munakata is now trapped. Kasuga 
I ambushes Kirio and Binimaru, murdering them both. Goodness gracious, Oscar uses the power of Geo and summons a massive rock in the sky, dropping it on Maki and Yutaro. Munakata was struggling in the trap pretty bad, cut himself. He's bleeding out. Ayaka sets the forest to blaze. <laughs> it still, it still gets me. It still gets me. <laughs> Catching Nami, Arena, and Kasuga in the flames in a fit of frenzy, Mad Moxie creeps up on Yun and slaughters him. Owain and Ayaka use the power of their vision. Unfortunately, Oscar gets caught in between Cryo and Pyro attacks and is melted away. Juna uses a gust of wind to blow Nay off of a cliff. Bernadette is just practicing with her bow, and Daichi tries to build a tank out of sticks and rocks and succeeds, and with that, Daichi has become the most dangerous player in the entire game, especially as we're down to your final seven. I don't know what's about to happen. But I know you'll be able to make some new picks after this massive Claire de Lune 4. Mia, Curio, Binimaru, Maki, Yutaro, Nami, Irena, Kasuga, Jun, Zari Yun, Oscar, Nay. Seven remain. An interesting final seven, in fact. A nice spread as well. But most importantly, it's time for you to make some new picks, because you will need them, won't you? You need them. I know I need them. And I'll make them after I make these, uh, after I make the announcement that it's, it's time for your... Oh, it's yes. Yes, it is. Saving Grace Picks. From the champion's team, Daichi. Could he have gotten tips from the man who survived 1 versus 100 and then went on to win the title? Daichi wants a shot of that title as well. Will he do it? I'm not sure. Mad... Mad Moxie, and boy is she still mad. Got one KO to her name. Can she win this whole game? Team Maki still has two people. After that onslaught, they still have two people. Ayaka and Bernadetta. Who would've thunk? Two people who have... Ooh, has Ayaka ever competed before? I don't think she... She might not have. I don't know if she has. I don't think she has. I think when we did the Genshin episode, she was not released yet. So this is her first time here, actually. That's interesting. And she's making splashes. She's in the final seven. She's got three KOs to her name. Bernie has participated before. Bernie's ready to do this. She's ready to come out on top. As we scroll down, we see a couple teams completely out, but we also see Munakata still trapped, still bleeding out, but he's still got a chance. We go down, and we keep going, and we see Owain is still around for Team Kizakura. He has competed this season. He, or this past season rather, he and Gundam almost had the tag team titles to their names. Owain wants to start this next season with the singles title and the tag team title. He could do it. It's a possibility. We'll wait and see. Juna for Team Kyoko is still around. Can she do it? It's a possibility. Juna Crawford. I think that's the- that's all seven. Juna, Owain, yeah, 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 Munakata, uh, the, the duo known as Bernadetta and Ayaka, uh, Mad Moxie and Daichi, yeah, that's all seven. And so you've made your picks by now, I know you have. I'm gonna make mine as well. And let me tell you, I got... I got Juna for first. I own one of the games in that series. But I have not yet played it, because I've had no time. One day I might. It looks very interesting. Give me Owen for second, because, you know, he's going to just miss it. And then give me Daichi for third. Although, you know what? Give me Daichi for first, because the tank. Because the tank. Daichi first, Owen second, Juno for third. That's how I want it. But I'll have to tell you with certainty that whatever I say may or may not happen. Whatever I say could be doomed from the start. I think what's really important is to take notice that these seven are standing tall, breathing in sync, trying to carry on to be in the top two. Because at this point, the top two, whoever they are, uh, actually, Munakata did make it, didn't he? Yeah, Munakata's already in the, uh, the season 11 premiere. The top two, except for Munakata, will go on. Who will those top two be? I don't know. But they're all standing tall, with the same heartbeat, the same pulse, as that of. A samurai woman. 
Final seven, with Daichi, it could end in a moment's notice. That tank is dangerous, we'll click next round, and it will not happen. Daichi and Owen surround Juna in the middle of a pond, the power of Electro. Juna electrocutes the both of them, Bernie fires an arrow at Munakata but misses. He's in a trap, how did you miss? How did you miss? Oh, Mad Moxie looks for her next victim, Munakata's slowly bleeding out, trapped and bleeding out, and Ayaka drops her bowling ball on Juna, she skipped this, she got the strike! While she's asleep, Juna's out of here, rest in peace to her. That leaves Bernie, Munakata, Mad Moxie, and Ayaka. It's a battle between Bernie, Ayaka, and Moxie for those two spots. Munakata's already proven himself. But he still might win, he might win, He's who knows, we'll, we'll wait and see. He's still trapped. Bernie, how did you miss that shot? He's trapped. Bernie, he was a still target. Bernie, she just, Bernie just didn't have the heart. But you know who else doesn't have the heart? Beat it all. These fallen tributes. It is indeed a terrible turnabout for Daichi, Owain, Juna, Ayaka, Munakata, Mad Moxie, Bernadetta. Four go on, but only two will make it to that season 11 premiere, who will tempt fate? Who will go on? I'm not certain, but I do believe it is time to find out. But within our final four, it's not a samurai woman, it's Bernie, Moxie, Ayaka, and Munakata all trapped in what we like to call a crisis. <gasps> oh, the fate. The final four. Let's do it. Let's click next round. Let's proceed. And we see Munakata's gone. Ayaka uses the power of Pyro to light Bernadetta's campfire, giving them both light and warmth for the night. Oh, that's so pleasant. It's also very rare that we see this event because it's an actual team doing it. Bernie just wishes he could go home, and Mad Moxie's frenzy finally dies down. In fact, this is interesting because it is Maki's team versus Mad Moxie, but we've seen crazier things happen. Mad Moxie does not... She's not out of this one yet. It is technically a 2v1, but she's not out of this one yet. Indeed, it's just a... Terrible turnabout for Munakata. Right now, the odds are in the favor of both Ayaka and Bernie. But Mad Moxie could take one of them out and ensure that she gets a spot in that singles premiere. Could that happen? I don't know. I think it's time we find out though. Ayaka, Bernie, Moxie, all caught. Still, technically in a crisis of fate. Who will be the two? I'm not sure. Let's click next round and it will be... <gasps> Whoa! What a twist! And that twist is... Moxie doesn't care much for this place, so she burns it down. Bernie's looking around for stuff to scrounge, and the two of them get tired, and Ayaka and Bernie go to sleep for the night. Moxie, however, uses the power of Cryo, I'm sorry, the power of Pyro, to set their camp ablaze, burning them both and taking out their team. I surely didn't expect it. Bernie goes on, congratulations to Bernie, Ayaka just missed out. But I think Ayaka might be back in tag team action. I think I, got a, I think I got a good team for her. I think I got a good team for her. You might see her next week, in fact. You might see her next week. We'll have to wait and see. However, Moxie earned this one. Moxie, you deserve this one. Out of nowhere, literally out of nowhere, burns it down. It is a terrible, terrible turnabout for... Ayaka. Burning. And once again, I can write down Bernie's name on here, but I'm also gonna write down Mad Moxie because, ladies and gentlemen, a burn. Bernie. It's good to see Bernie again, actually. I, I kind of miss Bernie. I'm excited for Three Hopes. <laughs> and then Mad Moxie. And speaking of Mad Moxie, I do believe it's time to announce that she is your winner. Representing two time champion Abuki two-time tag team champion Ibuki, Mad 
Moxie has found a way to outlast Team Maki. She has found a way to disrupt the peace between the two of them, and she has found herself in the season 11 premiere. Your winner, Mad Moxie. We've had a lot of sudden endings recently. <laughs> This one didn't feel like, it felt sudden, but like not so sudden. I expected like Moxie to maybe take out one of them in her spot, but she took them both out at the same time. Congratulations to her. Ayaka, Bernie, a shame that you both perish, but Ayaka for, I think her first time, had one heck of a game. Four KOs, good job. And maybe, maybe, I, cause like that Genshin episode was right at the cusp, like right at the cusp of um, I think it was right at the cusp of, um, Inazuma and Ayaka coming out. I'm not entirely sure, though. We'll have to wait and see. Or, I mean, I could go back and see, but, like, uh, you'll, you'll tell me. <laughs> if it's her first time, she had an incredible first time, third place, and she might be back for tag team action. Who would have thunk? Um, Juna with three KOs as well. Oscar with three. Mad Moxie, our winner with three. Her last two came at the end where she took out two people from the same team. She was truly incredible. She knew what she was doing. She came out on top. Tinko had two. Kasuga had two. Munakata had two. And Owen had two. Everyone else was one or less. Congratulations once again to Mad Moxie. Who would have thunk? Who would have thunk? I, I, I didn't count her out. She was frenzied. She had a pyro vision. She was kind of stacked. She kind of got stacked toward the end. <laughs> she really did. And that brutality takes her to be a serious competitor for that season 11 premiere. However, Bernie is also there. And do not count Bernie out. She's a sleeper pick. She might not want to leave her room, but when she's forced to this time around, she came in second place. Did she have a single kill? Uh, did she? I think she did. Maybe. No, maybe she didn't. Bernie, Bernadetta. No, she didn't have a single kill. She came out, she kind of snuck around. She was like, uh, Ayaka, protect me. And Ayaka, she got 4 KO. So you know what she sure as heck did protect her until the very end. But the very end was Mad Moxie coming out on top. Bernie does snag a spot though. And Ayaka will probably be back for tag team action. So just wait and just see. But everyone, good game. A lot of fun appearances today. We saw Cookie Run Kingdom. Didn't expect to see Cookie Run Kingdom. Didn't expect to see another Ace Attorney. We had a lot of... A lot of a One Piece, I said earlier. Yeah, we had a whole lot of One Piece. We had a lot of entrance, and I hope you saw someone you were like, Oh, I know who that is. I never expected to see them in one of these. Stay classy. Year of the Zenith. Toon Link Dave, Anomaly, the Anomaly Cars, and... Next week, we got that special... Oh, these might be teams. Uh, t tag Team Scrimmage is what I kind of like to call it. <laughs> the Scrimmage for Tag Teams, um, I think Thursday... And then that Friday is going to be the big ol' um... Or it might be the other way around. I'm not entirely certain yet. But we'll see. We'll see. One of those two days, it'll be the Fongon episode. The other one of those two days will be the Tag Team Scrimmage. And it's gonna be a fun time. Because you guys tend to enjoy both of those episodes. So I'm excited for it. And with that, also... Be sure to submit your Tag Team ideas. I know Season 10 probably gave a lot of people a lot of good ideas. And with uh, Fire Emblem Fates birthright coming through who knows maybe you'll have some more ideas i don't know stay classy you're the xena toodaloo flight crew thanks for watching